everybody. What up? We're back today with some Jack and Daxter. Let me know if my audio sounds incorrect. I'm always worried about that. But otherwise, yeah, we are pretty close to done. We've got one more hub area. But other than that, yeah. We're pretty close. What do we got? Yeah, we gotta finish up Boggy Swamp. And I think that's it. And then we go to the hub area. Yeah. But then again, I think we're doing this level backwards. But we'll figure it out. Besides, if you can sequence break your shield, right? It's always the most philosophy. Found that guy. That would bug me all the time. So I'm pretty sure the yellow ego is the explanation for how Jack eventually the the, the Jack and Daxter universe eventually acquires the yellows. But uh, I'm not positive. That's a spoiler for two, by the way. I, I am gonna pretty freely spoil two. Can be on, I suppose. Because it's it's so hard to talk about Jack One without contrasting it with the sequel because of how different the sequel is, right? Know what I mean? I think that makes sense. Yeah, it's I really can't think of um, other games that made such a genre, an enormous genre shift. Like, it's, it's pretty colossal. Right? Like, obviously there are spin-offs and there are, you know, like Metroid going from a you know 2D side scrolling platformer and you know a Metroidvania, the namesake of, to a um, 3D first person shooter is a bit of a genre shift, but I don't think that counts in the same way because Prime is its own sub series, right? Like it's 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 distinct, it's different, it's it, it's not. You know, Metroid 2 the first person shooter. It's Metroid 2 is another thing. It's Metroid Prime. Why is this rock doing? Can you blow it up or something? Can you beat it up? I do love collectathons, I really, really do. So, I am disappointed by the genre shift of the game. But at the same time, it does do what it. Jack 2 does do what it does decently well. Look out, so I can't Jack. Be it's an ambush! Wow. Four guys? What an ambush.
think so. They're not giving me the power-up stuff, I assume not. Let me double check that I got everything in this area, but I'm pretty sure that this is the farm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really weird, because it's, it just keeps going from a nice, solid 60, 6k down to, like, 1k. Super weird. Hmm. One sec, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into some of my tools here, see what I can dig up. See what I can dig up. Don't mean to uh, drag the stream down, but you know this sort of technical garbage is always going to happen. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Huh. Very weird. Very, very weird. I'll dig around my own network settings a little later. Yeah, if you hear people talking, that's uh, my roommate has a summer over. Is that it? That all I need to do? Or is there one more? That dirigible's barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether.
sorry guys, I don't know why it's dropping so many frames. Huh. Like, well, it'll have these moments where it's totally fine, and then others when it's just bad, and I don't know why. It's so weird. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try switching. All right, I'm back. Hopefully, we'll get better better support this time. I'm not sure. Hmm. boxes earlier, but I'm not sure. Maybe. Closer to the dump. 
We got one more, no, two more of these. And yeah, 14. So we're almost done. We are beating this level in reverse. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but I just made that decision and, uh, at the very start of the level. It gave me the opportunity and I took it. I hope you should really do the same. That's done. I'm gonna one sinks in. Funny, I guess. Well, we're very ambitious. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. Why do I care about my uncle? those and uh, a few more I think that's the last of uh, the orcs about which direction I'm supposed to be going. Unfortunate. Unfortunate side effect of doing a level backwards in a game you're not very familiar with.
machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. came in with the boss but whatever. The real issue is that the opening part of it is very, very slow. This opening solo. Uh,
into the next part with two hits. That's probably a guarantee for sure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. No problem.
should be okay, but I'll take everything else into a little Yeah, I like that. Really prefer to hit that, but okay. Guys, I think I think I got stuff eating up my RAM. Yeah, what is that? There, hopefully this will make the screen at least a little more stable. memory card. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, did your parents not love you enough to buy you the memory card, Drek? Eating up my processing. Give me a sec here. sworn that it came with one, but maybe not. Maybe that was how they got you in the end. I'm probably going to have to update my video drivers after this, but other than that, I should be okay. dad was a big old gamer, so uh, we got all the latest and greatest with our consoles. We got a memory card and stuff. But it's impressive that you managed to get, if you got any good at speedrunning those opening parts, uh, more power to you because, holy heck, um, I, from what I remember of Jack 2, I didn't enjoy the opening very much. I don't enjoy uh, everything about that game. But the opening especially, I find very tedious. Oh, gosh. Mostly because I hate driving around the city, so I hate most of the game.
Well, it's... That, that whole game is, is just a little weird. And I, it's... I don't know. I don't know. We might get there if I ever play it. But, yeah. Uh, suffice to say, I think that... You know, a lot of my favorite games are... Uh, platformers, it's my, probably one of my favorite genres, so the switch to a third person shooter was less than favored by me. Yeah. I know there's another one. situation where I have to come back because I don't remember how I turned this on. Dots pretzels the other day, and they are so good still. They're still good, but I remember I feel like they used to have a little bit more spice on them and a little less butter flavor. Am I the only one? Am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? Or maybe I'm just a little bit used to the Southwest flavor. this hub level, I think, because it's had a lot of weird platforming stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, I also picked up extra burnt Cheetos, or uh, Cheez-Its, which are, are pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. I like them, but I wish they had extra salty. Don't give me low sodium. Give me extra high sodium. That's what I'm after. Oh, fuck. I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yuck! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. 
Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what mm. little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon. We will have access to the vast stores of dark eco hidden. That lady is uh, quite the outfit. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. I don't know about that. I just if think that's, silos, that's just more reason to join the bad guys, in my opinion. No, it hasn't. Touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing stuff on my phone, and also just checking to make sure that Eco's powers cannot be controlled. Everything is working because in OBS right now, the preview is stuttery. It's all get out, but on Twitch oh it looks my. like it's going fine. Can you confirm whether or not the stream is functioning properly? Glaciers? Hmm. Yeah, then that's just OBS, and I'm probably over exerting my uh, GPUs here. So I'm probably gonna update my uh, things Great after this. Of eco. Pretty calm. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are yeah. spiders. Yeah. In the spider caves, no. right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! <laughs> Ah, 
There's lurker troops in the mountains. Okay, but how many do I need? Because I, I'm almost positive that I hit 69. This isn't good. Nice. Uh, I probably have enough to just go right now. And if not, I can just buy... I know I can buy at least four here. It's crazy. This is just spend all your money, get a bunch oh, of power cells. Right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs. Anymore. Although I do like the canary hat and the fire hat, candle hat. There is there's tons of capitalism in this game. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs. Anymore. Prepare to hear that phrase two more times. Uh, which boss? This guy? The the big fat guy with the helmet on his head? I wish I could. Gordy promised to give me half of whatever I could carry. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Here's a... If, here's a if I could, I would. If I could, I would. Because That's it. You cleaned us out. the work no has got to rise up. More power cell. What rich and interesting characters those two were. I don't know. Real worthwhile. No, uh, this is what I'm saying. For all the things I don't like about 2, it's got actual characters who are interesting and memorable. I can remember most of the characters in 2. I... I can barely remember any of the characters outside of um, the opening part of uh, one. Like, you know. I can't remember anything about three. Like anything at all. It's not to say it's a bad game, it's just that I, I can't remember it. I don't got money. You know, my GPU might not be overstressed if I uh, didn't leave my computer on for like months and months at a time. I reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Yeah. Use it whenever you want. 
It's just weird as. Hey guys, by my calculation, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat hey. shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Yeah, I got enough. I've got it all. I've got 73. I'm ready to go anytime. It really does. It, it really is. Um, is it just me or does Kira have a slight Midwestern accent? I think that when Tara Strong starts voicing her in 3, she loses it, but her original voice actress had a little bit of a Midwestern accent, or am I crazy? Am I just hearing Midwestern accents everywhere? First one of spider. No! Alright. Well, I just jumped in the lava, because, uh, what else am I gonna do, right? Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I need to go back anyway. Yo, what up? Hey guys, keep collecting yeah, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Continuing our journey north. Is that. I'm. I, I feel like that's very. Very close to the Crash Bandicoot um, font. Very close, but not entirely. I really do not like the ice level in this game. It is a very, very frustrating one by my accounting. You keep saying that, but, uh, you know, second game, second game is going to kind of disagree with you. Do you ever think about the fact that we live in the future? I think about it a lot. Because it's so interesting that very few people guessed what the future would look like uh, with accuracy. Some people did. They guessed, well, they guessed the technology, but they didn't guess that life would basically just be the apocalypse, but you still have to go to work. I don't think anybody really guessed that. Uh, only, like, only examples that really spring to mind are... Uh, lava tube um like robocop i think robocop most accurately guessed the future maybe demolition man just a little bit so it's the spider cave and then it's just the ice level and i think that's it i think that's that's all that's left of the game oh and lava tube and then the citadel which is a Huge level. It's enormous. People on a subreddit I run are uh, asking me to make a Discord for it, and I won't because I don't want to have to run a Discord. Jack, you run a Discord. Is it as horrible as it seems? Because uh, it seems pretty goddamn horrible. It seems like a, like a horrible, horrible way to live. But no, uh, I don't want to be a part of... I don't want to run a Discord, because something horrible is going to happen on a Discord that I run, and then I'm going to be implicated, and then I'm going to go to jail. And I don't want to go to jail, right? Like, er horrible things happen on Discord all the time, and I don't want to be a part of that. Horrible things happen on Reddit all the time, too. Um, 
but usually nothing that the mods get implicated in and are, you know, forced to, like, live a reclusive life for the rest of their lives. So, oh yeah, there you go, that's how you do it. You gotta do the, the big ups. Alright. Oh yeah, uh, if you've got, um, spider phobia, might not want to watch this part of the stream. But yeah, no, not going anywhere. That's that's not the hard part. Yeah, ours is just a small shit posting subreddit among friends. Uh, the issue becomes I would be creating a um I would be creating a subreddit for redditors. So you know, or not a subreddit for redditors, a a Discord for redditors, which um. Uh, that's not the that's not the scene to, to get into, you know? That's not the place you wanna be in life. I I can barely handle running a subreddit for Redditors. It, it it kinda depends on how you're defining failure, but uh yeah, basically. My life will be an automatic failure. That much I know for for a fact. Alright. I remember this. And I remember hating this. Yeah, there we go. For my subreddit, no. But it's just a matter of, you know... I, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to have to deal with these people any more than I have to. Come on. Centipedes. What a disaster of an interview that was, too, though. The anti-work guy. How how do you mess up explaining that subreddit that badly? Like, imagine presenting your own subreddit as the humorous parody of the subreddit, right? Like, the one that people will, will paint it as, as like a joke. What, what, a, what a life that man leads. And the really horrifying thing is that that might be the most press savvy person on the uh, anti work team. Like, how silly would that be? Alright, come on. Come on. I know, I know Dexter. I know Dexter. I've literally been doing that this entire time. I guess that's that's just what happens when a redditor, when the average redditor is forced to uh, the average reddit moderator is forced to present themselves. Uh, I assume that when my time comes and I too must be interviewed by Fox News, that you know, I will I will only wish I looked so articulate and presentable. <laughs> A 
imagine being though. Imagine being the parody, the living parody oh, wow. of uh, of subreddit moderators. That's got to be quite the life to lead. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I think I remember about this particular uh, level was that there are like no checkpoints at all. You always start back at the beginning, pretty much no matter what. I only hope that the things that I killed, uh, the that drop precursor orbs, remain dead, and the orbs remain dropped. But we know that that's not going to happen. Boy, that was a real display of gamership right there. Somebody take my gamer card. All the way down? Yes, it does. This is my least favorite hub level, I think. Not a lot of interesting happens.
Yeah, this is a very slow level. I don't like it that much. It's not the worst level in the world, I guess, but it's just very slow. Protein shake caffeine powder, by the way, continues to be working out. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I gotta taste the caffeine powder by itself one of these times, just so that I can know, you know, what it what it tastes like by itself, so I can pick out the individual flavors. Because together, strawberry shortcake and the vanilla whey protein powder, it's a solid it's a solid combo. And with a small meal, like that's perfectly filling. I can just eat veggies and be perfectly happy. Myself? Yes, I have tried gorging myself, Jack. Uh, that's been my strategy, jeez, for forever, really. Speaking of gorging yourself, did you see what they posted on the Discord today with a Taco Bell burger? Which feels a little cursed to me. A little cursed, right? Like it's basically just a sloppy joe. And it's a little cursed. It's all just a little cursed. Can you come back up? Yeah, right? Like, that's what it is. Okay, I see how this is going to be. I see. Alright, time to wait 10 minutes for this to come back up. There we go. The thing is, is that I know that if it was presented to me right now, today, I would... I would absolutely eat it. I would just eat it. I know I would because I'm a I'm a sick fuck, and I would eat nasty Taco Bell burgers. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, who are in the chat or watching on YouTube at home or whatever it is you people do, I don't know. Uh, oh, that's good. That's very good. Oh, I love that scream sound effect. Mm. Uh, Taco Bell used to have a burger. Uh, it certainly was extant, and that's all I know about it. I assume it tasted... Oh, that's good. Uh, I assume it probably tasted pretty bad. But I'd still eat it, because uh, that's just the sort of person I am. I would, I would appreciate if I was better at this, but I'm very bad at it. Ah, well, I'll get there for you.
least favorite thing in the world, which is revisit areas in a video game. That's not true. It's not my least favorite thing in the world. I don't mind it. But it does, I like, I like when I can get 100% of stuff in a level. Right away, right away. But I know it can't always be that way. Come on. On. Give me. And back here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. What else is there in this area? Um, destroy the dark field crystals. On top of the giant robot. Yeah. I guess I gotta go back. I guess the, 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 I don't remember the layout of this level at all. I think that they did. I think they stayed dead because these these orbs are at the bottom of the base here, so should be good. But no, what is the deal with Taco Bell changing its menu all the time? All I want is some consistency, Taco Bell. That's all I want. Just have a case of Rito all the time. Have a uh, the, the potato burritos all the time. I, I don't understand why it, why it must change so much.
but the variety isn't exciting. The variety is anxiety inducing because I never know if I'm gonna get the food that I want. I'm fortunate in that my go-to, the Quesarito, seems to be on tap very much often. What, it, does the app have a continuous, like, the list is never updated? Because I don't think that's true, because I've seen, they, they've just said, like, this is not available at this time on the app. Tantalizing teas, the Taco Bell menu on the app. follow me because I have 12 followers now but no it didn't indicate that anybody followed me so I don't know what the heck happened oh good yeah that just drops so fast god damn that drops way faster than the other ones by my account
everything Jack hits, it sounds like he's smacking a raw side of beef. Which I like. Don't get me wrong. That's a good thing. I'm just saying, it is a thing. I, that's a, I, I feel like that's a superpower that you do have, Jack. Everything you smack does wind up sounding like a, like you're smacking a side of beef. I've heard you hit stuff. I've heard you hit metal, and it doesn't reverberate. It goes, Wah! it goes like that. So I don't know, Jack. You got something going on. Some sort of devilry in you. I can touch that. I think that was the last dog eco crystals. Nice. How else do I got them? Just use the goggles. Yeah, shoot that thing. And then there's something there that I can't see yet. Um, I don't know what that could be. Regardless, I think I'm going to wind up having to do the uh, the ice level this time around. Oh, no, no, it's just get up there. So then, yeah, I still got to do the ice level if I want to get all the orbs, which is unfortunate. <sighs> orbs. Curse you, secondary collectible. Looks like it's up over there. Good. Glad Jack just decided to not uh, jump on. that uh, these platforms should sound like that that precursor metal should sound like drums when you jump on it I appreciate that I appreciate that a lot okay so I gotta get onto that one That's all I can do here, because I everything else I think is locked behind unlocking that dangle crate. Uh, that dangle uh, vent rather. I can get up to the full uh, one, 
30 something, so that way I can buy all the precursor. The power cells, rather. Right, uh, yeah, 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 I think I got this, I think I got this. Alright, let's go. There we go. Those guys, alright, everything else is probably locked behind the grave. So, or locked behind the, uh, the, the vent so I can bust open the grave. So we're off to the ice level, and that's probably where we'll end our time tonight when we get... Uh, when I, when I, I'll get to the 8 hours, so whenever. Whenever that happens. If you're very good at that, you can actually just jump across and you don't need these cards, but I am not very good at that. As you may have noticed, uh, I'm bad at video games. Go by these. Kind of. The thing is, is that you can. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. People, people that I know, say that that is actually a very easy voice to do once you learn how to do it. It hurts your throat a little bit, but it's it's actually easy. Anybody can do it. It's it's about just how you modulating your vocal cords in, in some special way. And they've tried to teach me, but I'm no good at it. My house suddenly smells like cat food, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. Hmm. Might have something to do with a cat. Yeah, I think this level is, has infinite enemies. Which is very frustrating. Actually mandating long jumps now? What is this? Not Mario Brothers.
Oh god. Rock monster. I don't even know how that makes any sense within the context of Jack and Daxter, even. I don't think that's something that can happen. There it is. If you die in deep snow, Daxter doesn't comment on your death. Very interesting. So I looked this up, by the way. Daxter was unbelievably popular when this game first came out. Like, insanely popular. And he does have a lot of that early 2000s energy to him in a way that I think we're all trying desperately to recapture. Am I supposed to beat you? He's invisible! I think we all really do, right? Like, yeah, I think it's uh, you. I think most people do, um, but most assuredly, every furry wishes they were a animal mascot from the early 2000s. Every single one. I think that's just what they're they're aiming for, right? Do you think that when when Generation Alpha reaches like our age, that their version of animal mascots is just going to be furries, and like that's the only context that they understand the concept of wacky animal mascots? That is just straight up the ice skating sound effect from Crash Bank from Crash Bandicoot. I'm virtually certain. I don't know what these are. I don't know... I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. All I know is that I must collect. Uh, that's 
the, the swamp area. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I mean, I got rid of that balloon, but yeah, I see that. I see what you guys are doing. I can kind of figure that out. I appreciate you guys trying to put a world map in that, you know, stays and all that stuff. It's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like what you're doing, game. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I don't want to do that. I want to go over that way. We'll get there in the end, guys. It's gonna take me a million tries, but I don't really care because death is a slap on the wrist. Ah. I sound like Ray Romano from Everybody Loves Raymond when I do that, I feel like. Ah, Debra! That hell finished. Now what fresh hell awaits me? Ah. Yeah. See, I don't. When I do it, it just sounds like I'm doing a normal voice. So I have to keep it. Uh. to make us stronger. I need strength. Oh, give me your strength. And let me punch tiny critters. And I guess boxes. Of toxic waste. You know, it's super cool that, uh, like, our world and the Jack and Daxter world just so happen to come up with the same symbol for, like, toxicity and radioactivity. That's pretty dope. I'm glad that that happened. It's very convenient for us, the players. Like, we recognize that symbol as being like, oh, it's bad. It's bad for you. It's bad for humans and other living things. It's a nice monster. Oh, there we go. That's that.
Uh oh, mandatory long jump. They really are reusing a lot of sound effects here. Maybe Red Eagle can defeat this guy. Yeah, probably, but you know how it is, Daxter. There is no Red Eagle around here. I don't want to look for it. Oh, there it is. It's right over there. They must have. I good use good use of them. I ain't gonna complain about like the, the the sound effects or anything like that. But I'm just saying, I recognize a lot of these sounds as repeated. But that might just be me. Um, please tell me I'm not the only person who hears the Oblivion drawer open sound effect everywhere. Everywhere I go, I hear that goddamn Oblivion drawer opening sound effect. I, I think about it all the time. Because I hear it constantly. I hear it in like every show I watch. And it, it drives me insane. Because I feel like I'm a crazy person. Where I, when I say these things, like, oh, there it is. There's the Oblivion drawer opening sound effect. And people are like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. But when you play that game as much as I have played Oblivion, you know. You know that sound effect everywhere you go. Because you open a million drawers in that game. Oh, I can't. Not even with one of these? I'm gonna come back to that area because I suspect that, you know, I gotta, yeah, I gotta hit that thing first. Oh boy. Slides, my favorite. Exactly where I came from. Hmm. Where the heck am I supposed to go then? Hmm. This does have the effect of making me slightly sad that Crash Bandicoot is a. Uh, Microsoft exclusive, though I don't mind that much because that means I'm going to get all the Crash games on Steam eventually. Because Microsoft and Steam are best friends for some reason, which I, I didn't expect that, but here we are. Mm, I need this. Well, wow, I'm going to grab it. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the guy. I need a punch. There we go. There 
we go. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place uh, to call it for now. Oh, no, wait, hold on a sec. I need to get all these. Uh, Alright, well, I'm at 100, so... Can I quit? I can just say it right here. Okay, good. Uh, Alright. I think I'm going to call it here for tonight, but before I go, I am going to raid another channel, which is not something that I have done before. So here you go. I'm going to raid. Get ready. We're going to raid. It's happening right now.